不整了。At that time, they was looking for a strong boys to go and join the military so that they can fight the rebels. I told my dad. My dad said, "Okay, you can go and fight for your country if you want to go and fight for your country." Went on patrol to go and attack mosquitoes camp at 1994 April 28 half past one Sunday. I was the leading scout for the troop. When I was going, there was a water running along the road, across the road. When I jumped the water and stand, my left foot was blown off by the anti-personnel man. Then it was just about 75 meters between we and the rebels. They was shooting when they were coming down. So the commander decided to divide the troop into two. The other troop go and attack them. Then the other troop do lifting and carry. They lift me. But I told them that if there is no way to lift me, to carry me, before another soldier will come and lose his life, let them leave me. I'm a soldier. I have my grenade with me. I will wait for them. But the com commander said, no, we will carry you. We will unable to carry you. <laughs> Everything was blown off. There was a bone which was not useful again. So I called a soldier called Fino. I said, come and remove that bone. It is not useful. The soldier was afraid said no I can't do it so I decided to remove my knife and cut it off and throw it then I told them to lift me then they lift me carry me the pain was heavy for me too heavy you know I was thinking to to just blow myself up That three months, I really don't know myself. Let me tell you this way, I don't know myself. So I was shouting, crying, until after three months, I begin to feel better. It is the biggest lesson that I've learned during my lifetime. Yeah, biggest so far.